Hi everyone, I'm Rick Beato. I get asked all the time what my thoughts are on A440 versus A432. Now let's look at this logically. First of all, measurements in seconds didn't begin until the late 16th century, so you can't have cycles per second existing without seconds existing. The term cycles per second was not accurately measured until 1834 when the Savart wheel and the tonometer were invented. No one before 1834 could have intentionally tuned their instruments to A432 or A440 for that matter because the scale simply didn't exist. 18th century Viennese piano builder, Johann Andreas Stein, who was responsible for Mozart's pianos, as well as Haydn's and Beethoven's, is likely to have tuned them to A421.6 Hertz based on a tuning fork that's been found that belonged to him. The next issue is related to Hertz. Now that's not the, man, my head hurts kind of Hertz, that's the AGRTZ Hertz which is a modern term first coined in 1930. No tuning standard based on Hertz could be developed or used until the term was invented. A435 was adopted as the standard in France in 1859, and many orchestras and opera houses in Europe adopted this as well at the time. It wasn't until 1939 that an international conference held in London recommended to use A440 as a compromise between the various tuning systems used at the time, some of which reached beyond 450 Hertz. In fact, the BBC required their orchestras to tune to A440 instead of A439 because 439 is a prime number, and that frequency was difficult to generate electronically with standard electronic clocks. Eventually, in 1955, the standard A440 Hz was adopted by the International Organization for Standardization. Now, if you believe that A432 resonates with the heart chakra, repairs DNA, restores both spiritual and mental health, stimulates the right brain, is related to water memory, heart rate, Mayan temples, the speed of light, the great pyramids, and the frequency of the universe, by all means, retune all your instruments and your entire music collection down 8 hertz to A432. But don't do it digitally. Transfer it to a tape machine and slow it down first, then retransfer it back digitally using a high-end A to D converter, like a UA2192 or a Burl Audio B2 Bomber. You should probably also use a high-end word clock, like a $6,500 Analog Audio Isochrome 10 MX Atomic Master Clock, which supports sampling rates up to 768 kilohertz to make sure everything is running smoothly. If you don't believe me, let's ask a couple experts their opinions. I like A440. I like A432. I like A442. Well, there you have it. Dylan, Lennon, and Layla have all weighed in. What do you guys think? That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the Beato book, you can write me at rickbeato1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.